Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Hi, I'm Mike Chumbler, Director of Golf for Boyne USA Resorts, and to my right, our good friend, Mr. Ken Devine, former Executive Director from the Michigan PGA. We're here at the Novi Golf Show, so that must mean golf season's right around the corner. Uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what's going on at Boyne for 2008. Uh, this year, we're very excited about a couple things, one being our golf package that we're coming in at 109 per person. That includes lodging, breakfast the next day, unlimited golf on any of five courses, uh, casino voucher worth $25, range balls, so all you can play for just 109 We're very proud of that, and we're getting a lot of bookings here at the show. Hope you can come up and see us. Also this year, new for 2008, we have a caddy program at the Heather. So we're bringing back a little spirit of the game on the Heather and hope you can enjoy our caddy program and um, walk around on the beautiful Robert Trent Jones design at Boyne Highlands. As you know, at Boyne Mountain, we have our Mountain Grand Lodge and Avalanche Bay, which are going strong with all the snow up there and all the skiers. So hopefully you'll still get to come up this winter season and enjoy that amenity. Uh, as we roll into the golf season that we touched on earlier, we have many events on the calendar. Uh, in our great relationship with the Michigan PGA, we have a Michigan Open qualifier. We have uh, our state pro-am in early June. We have the AJGA again this year, Coca-Cola sponsored event, which is the first week of Jul July at Boyne Highlands. So some of the best junior golfers from around the country will be playing at Boyne Highlands the start where Phil Mickelson got his start, Tiger Woods. It's an event we're very excited to host, and uh, we have a great relationship with the American Junior Golf Association. As I said to my right, we have Mr. Ken Devine. Uh, he was responsible for starting an event that we are now approaching our 15th year of. It's the Tournament of Champions at Boyne Mountain, which is a very unique event, and we owe it all to Ken and uh, Mr. Stephen Kircher for getting the event started. And what it is is a just as it sounds, an event for champions. Uh, but the unique part about it is it's open to junior golfers, female golfers, professional golfers, and amateur golfers. It's uh, very unique and one of a kind, and we owe it all to Mr. Devine. I'd like to turn it over to Ken to tell you a little more about how the event started, and uh, thank you, Ken. Thank you, Mike. And by the way, before I get into the Tournament of Champions, did you say $109? Correct, 109. I can't stay home for $109 a we day. Like to think I'm, so. I'm going to come up for the month. So the Tournament of Champions, yeah, Mike, it was, a, it was a unique thing. When I took over the, the PGA in 1991, uh, it was after a, an unfortunate situation in the, uh, in the section. And going through cleaning out files, I found a letter from your boss, Stephen Kircher, where it was requesting the uh, Michigan Open be played up at Boyne. Well, unfortunately, at that time, the, the, not unfortunately, but we had an agreement with uh, uh, Brand X up in Traverse City, and uh, that was for six years. So I think it was in 1992, 90, yeah, 91 or ni 92, I think it was. Could have been 93. Uh, in trying to create a new tournament that would benefit all golfers in Michigan, uh, I really stumbled in my mind across the Tournament of Champions. And I just had the basic plan of it, and uh, out of the blue, that letter from Stephen popped into my mind. And I looked in the file, and I called Stephen, and I think I'd only met him briefly for five or ten minutes once. And I asked him if he was still in, interested in a tournament that could compete with the Michigan Open for prestige and image and, uh, and, and, and more importantly, media coverage. And I never forget, we met at a night, one night at the Holiday Inn in Flint, Michigan. And we sat there and talked it over, and then we hammered it out the details. And what really turned him on, uh, and, you, and you touched on it, was the fact that seniors, juniors, professionals, amateurs, all qualified for the event. Now, the people may wonder, how did, they, how did you play such a thing? Uh, we set the tees up where the second shot for a junior would be a five iron, for a senior would be a five iron, for women, et cetera. So we equalized the tees. And, uh, the Detroit newspapers uh, decided to cover it right off the bat, and they sent Jack Saylor and uh, Vartan Kapilian up. And I remember J.P. McCarthy, the great J.P. McCarthy, came up, and he did his remote from the first one. And what a finish we had. I'll never forget. I think you were there. You were an was, intern at yep. the time. You were there. Uh, there was a fellow from Detroit, a golf professional from Detroit, and uh, 
Olson. What was his first name? Dan Olson. Dan Olson. Dan's playing one of the mini tours now today. He finished birdie, hole in one birdie to win by one shot. So it gave us one of the most exciting finishes. And they had taped, I don't know, not this fancy stuff they're using now with the handheld cameras and everything. And the major networks picked it up. So I had to laugh. I said, Stephen, I promise you some publicity. How's this? Yeah, and I I remember that we called it the area code finish at that time. Three one three, 313 area code, and it, it was so exciting, and you couldn't have picked a better way to kick off a great event. Well, Boyne has been a great, great uh, venue for the Michigan PGA and for everybody. The, the Golf Association of Michigan, you're good enough to have their events up there. AJGA. Uh, what other major events have you had from across? Yeah, the you know we've done the AJGA, USGA, GAM. So right. we, we've every major golfing organization we've tried to align ourselves with and promote the game, and it's been a wonderful relationship with, as I said, the Michigan PGA. And, it, and 2008 is no different. And yep. the the beauty of the Tournament of Champions, it, it really fits into what we try to do as a resort, and that's appeal to everyone, exactly. families, exactly. seniors, and. And in fact, our tagline at Boyne is "What are you up for?" And that's really why that's such. It's been such a great marriage with the Tournament of Champions. Well, the, the beauty of Boyne, not only being a great facility and and, and people oriented, you give back to the game of golf. You give back to your junior ski program is second to none in the world, I think. So well, thank you. Uh, you, you, you. You give back, and uh, I'd urge everybody to support you in in every endeavor you undertake. Thank you, Ken.